Hey, it's Alejandro Duarte from Vadin, and in this video I'm going to show you how to implement an option to allow your users register within the application and start using it. I'm going to use this example application that I developed in a previous video. Uh, it contains a set of views that the um, users can access depending on their role. Uh, as you can expect, it has a login view, uh, an option for logging out, and a couple of other views anyway. The important part is that we have what we have in the uh, data model, if you wish. So very quickly, uh, we have a, an enum here with two rows and a JPA entity with uh, a username and an encrypted password and a role. Uh, so if you want to, again, if you want to know how I developed these and how I implemented authentication and authorization, go check that video. Uh, but for uh, our purposes in this video, we are concerned on how to implement a uh, register option for this application. And I'm going to add that option here in the login view, which uh, uh, it looks like this, right? So this is uh, this view. Mm. So uh, very quickly as well, uh, we have a... Uh, uh, standard, let's put it that way, uh, VAD in view. And in the constructor, we are building uh, all these, uh, f this form, you can you can call it. Now I used this way of implementing the, um, the login form, but you can use uh, any other techniques that you want, like the login form uh, component or, or anything you want. Anyway, so let's add here a new option for um, going to a view where the users can register uh, within the application. So for that, I'm going to use a router link. And let's call these um, register. And we're going to implement a new view, which is going to be called register view.class. This, of course, doesn't exist. So let's create that class. I'm going to create in the same package. It's related, so it kind of makes sense. Now we need to uh, mark this with route register and i like to extend uh composite this time um and instead of using the constructor what we have to do is override the init content method and here we can create a new or even a uh, return a new for example vertical layout right and we can put we can put all the um, components here anyway i'm not going to do any uh, styling or anything so i leave that as a um, as homework for you, but uh, I want to focus on the concepts of, on, on how to implement this uh, feature. So let's uh, add a title anyway. Re register. Then we need a new uh, text field for the username and a new password field for the password. And we probably need another one to confirm the password, right? All right, and finally, we need a button to send that information to the to the server, mm. so we can implement uh, the logic over here. And uh, we we are going to need these the values in these fields. So this is one way of doing it. I'm going to um, to assign these to a couple of variables here or three actually so this is going to be uh password two so we have two passwords right and i'm going to create a new method also uh and send the username let's do it like this uh, username that get value password one that get value and password two that get value Let's implement this method right there. So this was the username. This was the password one, password two. All right. Um, so let's uh, compile these and see that we can uh, go to this class, right? We should have a link over here, registered, that's new. And then we go there. Again, I'm not styling this, but uh, the 
parts that you get the idea, right? That, uh, that you, you need a view like this and you are going to style it um, in any way uh, you wish. All right, so uh, probably we need this service that I developed also before, which is called auth serve, so we can delegate to it uh, the actual logic of registering the user. So I'm injecting it here, or Spring is going to inject that there, and now we can use it here. So let's create a new method, register, and pass the user name and password. Any password would do. Now, um, we want to check some stuff here, right? What if it's, we, we don't want the username, for example, to be um, empty. Moreover, we don't want to, uh, we don't want it to be uh, just empty spaces, right? So if, if that's the case, we are going to show an notification. Notification from show enter a username or whatever you want to put there else if the same with the password so let's use password one um, if if it is if it is empty then we're going to show again an identification that says enter a password and also we need to check that the password one equals the password two but if not then we show a notification passwords don't match or similar then if none of those then we do the authentication or not the authentication sorry but the uh, the call to the the service method which is going to register the user and we can say here registration succeeded or 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 whatever we want to to show there okay very good so that's all we need here really uh, now I did it this way with if else if else uh, there are many other ways to do it you can use the binder or or um, for example use uh, even for the validations use uh, java bean validation so you don't have to do all this it might be that the code is even shorter but uh, i did it this way so you we don't get into other topics all right so let's implement this method now and i'm going to move it maybe to the end of this class so we know that that was uh, kind of what we did for this video it's where it's uh, at the end and uh it's actually very simple all you have to do because we we are in a service now in a java service that has a user repository so we can use that user repository to save a new user you could also run the validation here by the way and maybe you should uh, with the user name that it's passed there and the password I'm going to call this just password because we don't care about um, in this case repeating or confirming passwords and I need the role so let's say that for this application uh, it's this role right so I, I think that's it really so in the end it's just saving a new user now let's try that out so first uh, let me go to the login and show you that for example I cannot get in this application I'm gonna use for example I don't know one two three but if I go here or uh, let's test test this also so enter a username enter a password password don't match let's see if they if, if it still uh, still works as expected so now they match registration succeeded we could have navigated to another view or whatever I, I'm just showing a notification but you get the idea and now I should be able to to do uh, this and enter uh, the application with the role 
I'm supposed to have, which is user. All right, that was a very easy way of implementing this kind of feature in an application, but I'm going to cover a more advanced use case later in a future video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.